I think of things to chew, like honey and milk and chocolate, with a hefty, happy appetite. I'm a hefty, happy poo. <laughs> with a hefty, happy appetite. He's a hefty, happy poo. Oh, bother. Empty again. Only the sticky parts left. That buzzing noise means something. And the only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a, a bee. And the only reason for being a bee is to make honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs> and so Winnie the Pooh climbed the honey tree. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed. And as he climbed, he hummed a little hum. And I call it my rumbly and my tumbly song. Yes, and it went something like this. Hum dum dee dum, hum dum dee dum. I'm so rumbly in my tumbly. Time to munch an early lunch and hum de dum 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 Oh, I wouldn't climb this tree if a pool flew like a bee But I wouldn't be a bear then, so I guess I wouldn't care then Bears love honey and I'm a pool bear, so I do care, so I'll climb now I'm so rumbly in my tumbly, time for something for something sweet to eat. If only I hadn't... You see what I meant to do? Well, it all comes, I suppose, out from liking honey so much. Oh, bother. Winnie the Pooh crawled out of the gorse bush, <laughs> brushed the prickles from his nose, and began to think again. Think, think, think. And the first person he thought of was... Winnie the Pooh? No, Christopher Robin. Oh. Christopher Robin lived in another part of the forest where he could be near his friends and help them with their problems. On this summer day, gloomy old Eeyore, being stuffed with sawdust, had lost his tail again. Eeyore, this won't hurt. Never does. Ooh. <laughs> 